Happy to be joined again by the congressman from Texas and the candidate for president of the United States on the Republican ticket. It's a pleasure to welcome back to the show uh, Congressman Ron Paul. Good morning, Congressman Paul. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So uh, Newt's uh, getting out today, finally. Right. It's, this is one of the least surprising announcements <laughs> in the history of politics. It's been going on forever. And on, on the personal side, uh, Congressman Paul, what do you think took Newt this long to make this decision and to Boy, run, up, hey, run up all those bills? Isn't that, isn't that fascinating? And it's a lot of money. It's, uh, it's not a good way to run for a, for a slot that you're supposed to be a fiscal conservative and end up with a couple or several, maybe four uh, million, maybe dollars, million and, dollars of debt. That's not a, a very good example. I have no idea. Uh, why it continued that long, but uh, I guess uh, maybe he was hoping for the best and something else would happen, but maybe maneuvering to help get his debt paid off. I have no idea. (laughs) Well, now that brings us to the other obvious question, which is why are you continuing your campaign (laughs) at this point when the math is so obviously against you? Because we're very solvent and our crowds are getting bigger, so it, there is a little bit of a disconnect about uh, uh, what the perceptions are and what's really happening. And actually, the delegate accumulations are s- still occurring, you know, at these various state conventions. And we're trying to not only win the election, but we're trying to change things where we actually change the party to become fiscal conservatives and change the foreign policy and address the subject of the uh, monetary system. So uh, that continues, and we keep winning. I mean, several of the uh, state chairmen now are Ron Paul supporters, and uh, and many, many delegates that are going to the convention may be pledged uh, to Romney, but they really are supporters. So our presence uh, at the convention certainly will be felt. So we will continue to get people to the convention one way or the other because we're looking long term as well as anything else. We're talking with Congressman Ron Paul, who is uh, in California. Uh, Are you uh, just campaigning? Is there anything specific you'd like to uh, tell us about today? Yes, we'll be at uh, Cal State tonight at 7 o'clock at the Titan Stadium, and it's open to the public. Uh, We've been getting very good turnouts. As a matter of fact, California has given us the biggest turnouts uh, of any state, although others have been good, two, three, four, five thousand elsewhere, but they've been up to eight thousand here in California. So I have no idea what we'll get at Cal State, but they tell me we'll have a nice turnout. Well, let me ask you about California because this was uh, the state that was known as Reagan Country, and in the midterm elections in 2010, when there was a huge wave. Uh, a repudiation, if you will, of the first two years of the Obama administration. The Tea Party made its impact felt all over the country. Uh, big uh, seat change in Congress with 60, 60 plus uh, House seats changing, Senate seats changing. But the Sierra Nevada mountains uh, acted like a giant breakwater. Whatever that uh, move to the right was, uh, nationally, just stopped cold when it hit the California border. And there's not a single Republican conservative in statewide office in the state of California for the first time since the peak of the New Deal. Mm. Uh, what is wh- how? What is the disconnect? What do uh, conservative libertarians uh, in California do to change that? Well, I don't know, but something's going to have to change. I think right before I came on, you talked about uh, the the deficit that the state of California is facing. So it can't continue. They're going to have to eventually listen to an alternative. Uh, you know, maybe somebody's spending too much money, not only at the federal level, maybe there's people spending too much at the local level. But uh, no, uh, exactly why California might be behind the need to cut. Uh, but this is also a reflection uh, because there's very little uh, enthusiasm for cutting, but liberal uh, economic uh, teaches that uh, deficits aren't all that bad. If the economy is weak, you never want to cut spending. All you have to do is spend more money, borrow more money, and print more money, and that's how we got into this trouble. So it's rather ironic. Of course, that's our task uh, in our campaign is try to get people to think about economics in a different way that uh, just bigger government isn't the answer to big government. I want to steal a couple seconds here, if I can. The president is on his way back from Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. He announced troop withdrawals, but we will obviously be involved in Afghanistan for many years to come. Uh, What should the U.S.'s stance be when it comes to the war on terror abroad? Well, I think we shouldn't precipitate terrorism and when you drop bombs from uh, drone missiles and kill hundreds and now there are thousands of people who are considered civilians 
and uninvolved have been killed. The children have been killed. I mean, that, that that's an act of terrorism on these people. They feel terrorized by bombs dropping out of the sky. And every time you kill one, there's a, another family or 100 people who would like to do us harm. So I would like to end, end terrorism. Should, should we have gone into Pakistan to take out bin Laden? Well, I certainly voted, you know, for the authority about it. But the real tragedy was is we sort of had him trapped at Tora Bora. Yeah, and I we, know. We let him out. And we let him go. Yeah. And we went into war. Congressman this- Paul, we're short on time here. We thank you for your time. We'll talk to you down the road. Congressman Ron Paul. KNX News Time 813. Well, he's uh, just about the last man standing in the Republican presidential nomination against uh, Mitt Romney. Ron Paul, the congressman from Texas, back in L.A. today, and he joins us now on the KNX News Line. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Thank La- you. Last time I had you on the air, uh, I said you were, you know, uh, basically raising money for something that wasn't going to happen. And I'm just looking at the numbers here today. Mitt Romney has about 850 delegates today. You've got 80. What's the point? <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe the point is is to count all the votes, uh, and we're going through the delegate process, so we're going to have a lot more than, than 80, but obviously he's well ahead. But, you know, throughout my life, I've, I've been involved in politics first to win elections, but if you don't, you have to improve things. And we're very much involved in changing the political party, the Republican Party, to become a party of a little bit less government and balanced budgets. And this is where we are doing exceptionally well. We're getting people in position uh, throughout the country. They're becoming chairman of the Republican Party throughout. And many of the Romney delegates who went there and are pledged to Romney are actually Ron Paul supporters. So we're going to have a very strong presence at the convention, and we hope to change the future, not only of the Republican Party, the future of this country, so that we can restore our liberties, have a new and different foreign policy, as well as addressing the subject of monetary policy. Is, is Mitt Romney a candidate that you can endorse for the presidency? Not under present circumstances, but we don't know what his final positions will be. You know, they do change on occasion. Uh, but, um, you know, it depends on what happens in the platform. I'm certainly, you know, on friendly terms with him. We talk on occasion, and uh, uh, hopefully he can be pledged to many of the issues that we like. Have you been given any indication by the uh, convention planners themselves that you will have a significant role in this convention? In other words, a primetime speech. No, probably not unless we earn it, and uh, that's why these, uh, this delegate process is so important. If you have five states, uh, then the rules say that you have to uh, have recognition. So, uh, and, and I think uh, Governor Romney and his staff have gone out of the way not to be offensive and, and to, uh, you know, to accommodate us to a certain degree, but they also understand politics. Uh, I mean, it would be much nicer for them to me say, well, whatever you do, I'm going to endorse you, but the people who have been supporting me for these many years aren't exactly uh, anxious to support people who don't agree with us. In other words, they wouldn't expect Ron Paul to do something that would be not characteristic of Ron Paul. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> All right, good enough. Congressman, it's always good to talk to you, and I'm sure we will uh, frequently in the uh, the days and weeks ahead. Thank you. You bet. Ron Paul there, Republican congressman from uh, Texas. He's still in the hunt, although Newt is getting out today. Can X News Time, 815.